Hi, this is Sebastian of the Tipco Jazz Preserved Customer Success Team. Today I will present how to use the manually generated filters in dashboards. At first I want to show you the status quo. My dashboard with the name Test Manually Generated Filters, filters has three dashlets and an additional filter dashlet. So this dashlet on the upper right is called also test manually gener manually created filters and I want to apply those filters to that dashlet. Just for the record this is the um, report 01 geographical results by segment report. Okay, so let's have a look at the filter manager. Um, I, so here you can see that we have two filters already active. Both are linked to the same dashlet test manually created filters. You can see also that in the filter dashlet those filters have been already dragged in so they can be used. And there you can see um, the option to create new filters and this is exactly uh, what I want to show you. Um, with this button you start the process to manually create a filter in a dashboard. And I can say so much. Basically um, the sense behind that is that once you have set up the filter you can pass parameters in the URL without showing them as an input control. So I would say I stop talking now and create a filter. Um, so you see at first that a new group manually created filters will be created. So the parameter filter uh, that I want to use is the product name. Good. And now in that group I have to click again the plus sign. select the dashlet test manually created filters and I choose the product name as the parameter. So just for the record again so this drop down list um, the values or the, the, the parameters that are shown uh, depend on the, the, the parameters filters available for the report. So um, as I'm using uh, the base the base report geographical um, results by segment report. So this are those are the filters available for this report. Choose product name and confirm that with OK. Save it. And I just have a look. Yep, it's saved. Okay. And I go to the home screen. Now, and this is important, I open the dashboard not in designer view but in the viewer mode. So this is the result and I take this URL address and I copy it to my notepad. Okay. 
Okay. Now, um, I already prepared two parameters that are ready to be used um, to be passed on uh, in the URL address. So uh, those are two products. Um, I made sure they exist. Um, and the logic is, as you can see, question mark, then the, um, the parameter attribute and then the parameter value. So uh, question mark product name equals the value um, of the product and then you can use it. So let's copy that once again. Then I copy that and the place where you would use it is before the first hashtag. All right, looks good. Now I want to directly. Let's open two additional tabs. Take the first URL, pass it, take the second URL, pass it. Good. So the first URL where we wanted to filter the melons, uh, the lemons, we see that it worked. The second URL, we are not sure. The report is empty. That could mean that we passed a value that does not exist, or it could mean that um, there are really no, um, yeah, if you filter down with that value, there are really no numbers behind that. So um, I can tell you now already that this, the second option is the case. So um, we have used the right value, and I can prove that. will just change the value to amigos. This definitely does not exist. I copy it, I paste it. So and what happens now? This is important again. So Jasper Report Server in that case would show the original values, like the non-filtered values. As you can see, if we, if we compare that, there is no difference. This is the original non-filtered dashboard, and this is the filtered dashboard with the product that does not exist. Good. Um, so this is basically what I want, wanted to uh, show you today. This is the basic usage. You can pass parameters um, through the URL address without showing them as an input control. There is one more sophisticated use um, of the manual filters. Just wanted to show an article of a colleague of mine. Um, So uh, the article uh, is called How to use a custom hyperlink handler with the dashboard in Jasper Report Server. Um, perhaps
perhaps some of you guys might want to have a look at it. So um, that is basically it for the short video. I hope I could explain the setup and the use of the manually generated filters. Thanks for watching and goodbye.